What's going on guys, it's SJ Sports, welcome back to Uvacam Regions, Regenerated with Rotherham United. This is episode number 6, if you haven't missed any of the previous episodes, make sure you do check them out. There is a playlist on my channel, so head over to that and make sure you catch up before watching this. Can we smash over 100 likes again on this episode? Your support has really has been completely and utterly amazing. Starting off this episode then, we're going to do a squad report. We haven't done one of these yet in this series, it's about time that we actually did ourselves a squad report. So here we go. Uh, Javier Rocker, 67, gone up by 2. Luke Bertrand, 67, gone up by 1. Forte is a 70, not gone up by anything. Uh, Hector Molina Orta, 70, gone up by 1. Andrade is 65, gone up by 1. Franson is 71, gone up, gone up by 1. Reyna is a 67, currently injured at the moment. David Franson is a 72. Uh, Anton Johansson, 76, gone up by one. He's looking very, very delicious. He's improving all the time. We've got Ern Vicker, who's a 72. We've got Kristen Martinez, is a 66. We've got Aaron Phillips at 64. We've got Jesper Lingeren at 62, gone up by one. We've got Jose Cornet at 64. Matt Le Cointe is a 72. Uh, Martinez is a goalkeeper, rigid real life player, 66. Clark Harris, 66. Giovanni Halau, or Halu, is a 70. Fraser Richardson then 60, Richard Wood 62, David Lafferty 65, Jordan Bowery 66 gone up by 1, Mark Bradley 60 gone down by 1, uh, Tony Thompson 53, Reese Lucas 54, Lee Frecklington 67, Matt Sandler is a 58 gone down by 1 and Kirk Broadfoot is a 62 gone down by 1 and that concludes our squad report. First game of this episode then is away against Swindon Town. Your starting 11 is on screen now. We've gone with Roker in goal, Bertram Forte, Orta, Underad as our back four. We've got Franson, Lee Cointe, Franson, Johansson, Ervik and Martinez up front. The informed side in the championship stood proudly at the top of the table. Great hard work. Great performance in the opening six fixtures of this campaign so far. Burn into Smith. Ball's played in. It's a chance for Swindon early on and Roker's got his head to it. And Orta's not fully cleared. It was an awful clearance. And Williams scores on the volley. What a dreadful clearance that was by Orta. Trying to stop it from going out from a corner kick. And he got his clearance horribly, horribly wrong. It was a good, good left-hand save from Roker. And Williams turns it in and Roker could do nothing about that. Tricky character for Swindon Town, one player that we do have to be aware of. Very skillful. Swindon are playing some good stuff here. It's brilliant football from Swindon Town. They've opened us up again. Ball's played in. Smith's from Mark, and it's 2 0 to Swindon Town. We're all over at the back. It was a lovely work goal on Swindon's behalf. And Swindon have doubled their lead, and it's Smith who's got the second goal of the game. 24 minutes into the game, it was a lovely football by Swindon. And Forte had to go to close the man down on the ball, which left Smith open in the in the six-yard box. Rooker tried everything he possibly could. It hits the post and goes into the back of the net. It's 2-0 to Swindon Town. There's a shock on the cards here. So Coynes is going to take his corner for over a minute goes. We've got height in the box. It's Johansson of all players. Probably our smallest player on the pitch. Coynes goes in with a side challenge. And here comes Swindon once more. And there's a space again in our back four. It's Williams. And the shot comes in and it goes over the bar. It's a let off 3 0. You would have felt that would be game over for Rotherham. Here's Franson then. Will he play the ball into the box? He tried. Franson then lays it off. It's pinging everywhere. Martinez should win the header. And up goes Irving with a volley. It's a good save by the keeper. Well done, Lacointe then. Come on, can we get a goal back before half time? Here he is, Lacointe. Plays it to Martinez. Go on, Martinez then. Martinez then powering his way through. Martinez then. Oh, it's gone wide. Oh, I thought for a second, then he just slid that into the inside of the post. He went the wrong side. It was a lovely run again from Martinez. Half time then, and it says shock, shock result at the moment. Swindon find themselves two goals up in that first half, and fully deserved to be fair. The half time substitute, Irvick comes off, on comes Giovanni. Just need a little bit of pace up front. We are going to start the second half on attacking. According to then down to Giovanni, surely fouled advantage played by the referee. Here is Giovanni then looks to swing it into the big man. It's Franson that rises and he's headed us back into the game. It was a great header from the penalty spot. 12 yards out, a looping header. Deceived the goalkeeper. Franson's got us back in the game. It was a great play by Giovanni. And maybe we might have to start playing Giovanni on the wing because he's got the pace, he's got the ability to whip it in. He leaped above two players there, did Franson. Great header. And we've got ourselves a goal back in this side. It's 2-1 now to Swindon. 
Here comes Swindon then with pushing bodies forward to try and get back in this game. There's a man free, it's Baker. Shot comes in, it's took a deflection, it's to save Roker. And that is a three point shawl in the bag for Swindon. That's the only attack in the second half. It's been all Rotherham. We have dominated the second half as Swindon dominated the first. And it was a good effort by Barker. We did push bodies forward to try and get an equaliser. And Swindon now find themselves 3 1 up. It's played over again, and there's a man free. It's Baker who got the third goal. Shot comes in this to Oh my god, the referee's awarded a penalty kick. Up step Smith. Goes the wrong way, does Roker. And Swindon are 4 1 up. And oh my god, it's a horror of a result for Rotherham United. They do, they, honestly, 4 1 don't deserve it at all. Well, there goes the full time whistle. Swindon run out by four goals to one. Wow, that is a massive, massive setback for us. I just don't understand what went wrong. With the first half, we didn't play particularly well. The second half, we tried to push on and get that equaliser. We got us caught out. It's finished Swindon 4, Rotherham United 1. Next game of the episode, then Rotherham United take on Bournemouth. Rotherham will be looking to bounce back after that 4-1 defeat away at Swindon Town. Shocking result. He's starting 11, he's pretty much to say. One change to the side, it's Giovanni comes in for Irvick. Free kick to Bournemouth in a dangerous position. This game has been drab, boys. There's nothing happened in this game at all. I don't think we've even had a, a decent chance on goal either side. Early ball in. Up goes the headers. Otter's not properly cleared it. He's found Richie. Oh, he skipped past his marker well. Still Richie. Still Richie. Oh, my God, he's scored. What a goal that is. Great individual player by Richie. And it's come just before half-time. Matt Richie has put Bournemouth 1-0 up. And, wow, the game has been so drab. It's not been the most exciting game. This is the only highlight, really, I'm going to put in the edit. And look at that. It was just... I don't even know what to say. Too much space in the box there. And Roker couldn't do anything about that. It was good individual play from R Richie, to be fair. And Bournemouth take the lead just before half-time. It's 1-0. There's Pew. Laid inside to McDonald. He's found his way. Oh, wow. Wow. So unfortunate. He got the look that he probably deserved. And he just smashed it into the top corner. It was a great finish by McDonald. Look at that. It bounces off Franson. And Roker couldn't keep it out. It was a powerful strike into the top corner. And Bournemouth doubled their lead. Looks to feed Johansson. He's got Irvick to his left. Oh, he just couldn't get his pass away. Irvick lays it to Phillips. Phillips then into Johansson. Hansen. Irvick. Oh, it's a great save by Olsop. And that is our first shot. Coming the 75th minute. Olsop did really well to tip it over the bar. Oh, Matt Rich has just gone past two Rotherham players there. Ranty inside the box. Don't let him cross. Three around him. He gets his shot away. Roker with a great save. Oh, there's a gap here. The through again. Well done, Roker. And oh, my Lord. Bertram will get it clear for us. Giovanni to probably turn the wrong way. He's keeping hold of the ball. Here's Cornet. He has played really well since he's come on. Looks for um, to Forte, rather. Forte. Giovanni. Oh, I'll stop with the save. And it goes behind for a corner kick. Richie then taking it into the corner. Ball's played in. Up goes Cornet with a header. He's had a cracking game. He deserves a start in the next one. And there's a chance here. McDonald. Oh, McDonald's pounding through. In goes Roker. There goes the full time whistle. It's her second consecutive defeat. For Rotherham United, this time it's the hands of Bournemouth for home. It was Bournemouth that, that took the lead just before half time from that Matt Ritchie strike, and then McDonald doubled their lead early, late on in the second half. He's finished at Bournemouth 2, Rotherham United 0. Final game of the episode then is Brighton against Rotherham United. A couple of changes to the side. You can see Cornet comes in at CDM. Johansson drops to the bench. Franson's in cam. Ernvik Martin is back up front. Lacointe, Franson. Underad, Otter, Forte and Bertrand. Roker in goal. Can we get three points, boys? Come on. Now to Franson. Cheeky turn. Keeps hold of the ball. Here's Ervik. Ervik then heads it forward to Martinez. Who heads it down for himself. Martinez then. Yes. Get in. That's more like it. The goal machine is back. He scored. He didn't score for two games. And now he's got the first game, the first game, the first goal in this game. There we go, finally got there. Did get the look there, to be fair. It was a simple finish for him. And 10 minutes into the game, it's Brighton 0, Rotherham 1. Lovaloa finds Crofts into Baldock, looking to turn. And Forte's in there with a great challenge. And Martinez, then he's got the ball at his feet. He's mercy. Into Franson, looks for Irvick then. Irvick onside. Irvick then to make it two. Oh, it's a good save from Walton. He might get a second bite of the cherry. He hasn't, and Franson couldn't quite get himself 
Oh, we should have doubled our lead there. Baldock then going forward for Brighton over Albion, edge of the box. No one's gone to him. He gets his shot away. Rocker climbs it, claws it out of the sky. Ains Wall, great back heel into cross. It's filled a lot of us. The man free. Bertrand had to do well then. Made that interception. He did really well. Hunt now. Skips past the challenge from Giovanni. Don't let him cross it. It's laid off to Augustine. He's unmarked. Augustine, shot comes in. And oh, the V collides. It's Ains, I think it is. Oh, wow, oh, wow. One of the two. It was a great finish by the Brighton man. Oh, I can't believe that. We just couldn't properly clear our lines. It was a great finish, to be fair, into the top corner again. Roker hopeless. Look how much the ball bent as well. And it's Brighton have got themselves back. Level pegging. Oh, I skipped past his challenge there. And there's a man free. It's Foster Kaysky. Foster Kaysky. Oh, he's hit the post in the last minute. Get it clear. Well done, Bertrand. And that is the final action of the game. Unbelievable end to this match. We nearly threw away a, we threw away three points. We nearly threw away a point. And it hit the inside of the post and it came very, very lucky for us not to go in. It's finished Brighton 1, Rotherham 1. That's it. This episode is coming to an end, boys. Hope you have enjoyed it. We, unfortunately, we didn't manage to get a win on the board in this episode. Three games played. We lost two. We drew one. Things this episode were looking very, very gloomy. We did get a point against Brighton and over Albion, which was a very, very hard-fought contest. It was probably the fair result, to be fair. The other two games, however, was just dreadful performances. You can't expect them to play well all the, all the time. But as you can see, we sit in the playoff places, which is fantastic. That's our aim, is to get to the playoffs this season. I know the board have already said that they want a mid-table finish, but my objective is to finish in the playoffs and hopefully push through to the Premier League uh, in the playoffs, which is very exciting indeed. So, yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you now, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.